Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and today we will be learning about Linux basic utilities. Let's get started. So we will be using as usual uh, a docker container and uh, the it will be uh, Ubuntu version uh, 16.04. Again you can use any kind of Linux, that's up to you. Let's get started. Docker run it into 16.04. It will take some time and get started. Okay. Now um, let's uh, try the main command. But by default, man, uh, in uh, for Ubuntu containers, it will not work like that. You have to install uh, first update the packages uh, package list. It will take a few few minutes, maybe. Okay, now it's completed. Now we try the man. Uh, now let's install the man command. It will take few seconds, and it will get installed. Done. If you do man command. Okay, man command is to show, is actually to show uh, the um, the what a uh, uh, what a command has to offer. I mean, what option a command can have. Let's let me show you man. Suppose suppose you have a ls command. Now, if we do man ls, it will show all the command that ls command have like that. Let's go out. Now let's go for the help command. Help command will show all the commands you have available in the shell. See, it's showing all the commands that's available. All this available for you by default. Now use the info. Now let's uh, Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu. Uh, I mean, uh, in in Docker, this may not by default available. Let's let's test it out. It's not available. Let's install that very quickly. Done. Quick. Now let's uh, now let's info about some command. This is info about the ls command itself, and it will show you the description of the ls command. Now let's go for the help command. Uh, uh, let's go for the. Uh, now suppose you want to uh, see all the available uh, available package list. You have to use the ls then this dpackage available thing. This this commands actually. Uh, it's not that you will be using daily basis, but it's good to know. Let's try this one. But ls command is also by default not installed in Docker container. But in, in the general Linux, we'll be using it's, it. Should be already there. It's not there. Then install it. Again, few seconds. Now let's try this, and you will see the data. You can see the data, right? Here. Okay, now let's go for the next command. Next command we have uh, what is. Suppose, okay, what is ls? It will give you a one liner description. See? This directory now suppose what is man it will give a one line description that is all it is for suppose for any command you want to see all the help option available you can also do suppose ls help any command actually not the ls but any command sorry ls help you will see all the options available now now go for the next command is for host name it will give you the host name of this docker is which will be this so host name see it's probably the same value here now if you do host name minus f it, it will give you the fully qualified domain name but it will still give you this because that's what you're using right now okay now password command is actually if you do it will 
Let's try this command and password. It will ask you for the new password. If you want to create new password when you suppose log in for first time, then you can use the command. But for now, we are not setting anything. We'll just go out. Okay. Now, who am I command will give you who is the current logged in user. Now, who am I? It's root because I'm as logged in as a root user right now. Who will list all the List all this kind of logged in as a user, but currently I am just logged in as a uh, root user, no normal user. I should not showing showing anything. But for your cases, if there is on, uh, some user logged in as a normal user, it will show there. W command will display all current status, time, duration, list of user currently logged in, and all a few details. But it will not show like this. Okay, W and give you the, all the all the command. See all the data. Okay, now let's go for the next command. It's last. It will give you uh, who uh, uh, I mean uh, who recently used the system. Same same for root user. This is actually you know used for the incident response. Suppose you want to check who actually logged in when the root user logged in, then only this data uh, you can see that this data. Last B actually shows all bad login items, which is a very good command. Suppose you want to see, a, suppose you have a open SSH port and see who are the not able to log in successfully, you can uh, use this command. This one. Okay, now go for the next command. Now this is about process in, uh, related information. Uh, now let's try it now. It will give all the process related information here. Top processes. Uh, now for this one actually there is a better tool available. Which is called HTOP. Let us install. Uh, let me install and show you. Take some time. Now if we do HTOP. See it's much more better UI and you can see better properly. Okay. Now let's get, sit from that. Uh, to see the uh, process list, you can, see it's, you can enter post PS to see the uh, process list. If you do PS, uh, then minus U, that is for the user root. You see what are the root processes running. Now, let's cut for the list all processes by all users current system. This PS uh, AUX will show all the processes. Now, Go for the okay. This is uh, lsb underscore release minus a is if you want to show the uh, uh, who, who what the release version and everything, you can use that command. Now, since it's not by default installed in uh, Ubuntu, it will not show okay, not currently installed. So, you can instead write this one, it is give the current install version, I mean OS data, okay. Now, now if you want to see more details. Now this is command for you. Okay, let's try this command. Let's clear the screen first. Let's try. See all the data: name, Ubuntu version, ID. I mean, uh, the what is the OS like? Let's say the Van OS. So th this this kind of data we'll see. Now there is another good thing. That's called uname. It print all the current system information. It will give you the Linux, but if you do uname and it's A, it will give the all data. What is the processor type? What is the current time? You know, or all this this information you can get here. Suppose now you want to okay. Previously we tested some release uh, OS release. Now if you see whatever release information available, you can run this command. See more data. The code name. So all the data, uh, all release info you can see using this command. Okay, for today is this. Next will be uh, next video is going to be more interesting because that will be on uh, self scripting, which is everyone interested in. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed yet. 
like it and share with others bye